dear student namaste so we will uh finished we had finished the uh, first chapter and today we will start in six day uh new chapter of class six uh force and motion okay this is the second lesson or we can say unit six unit unit two uh force and motion so in this chapter we will discuss about force uh effect of force rest motion uh these terms is very uh, essential to uh describe that and we have to understand also okay so uh, everybody listen the term rest rest means still okay rest means still so what is meaning of rest rest means just example first you uh, see there you will understand the meaning of the rest also see building road poles uh, tree always in the rest position and uh, building also they are in the rest position or road poles they are in the rest so the term a uh, rest how we can define that okay so a body is said to be rest uh, a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding a body is said to be at rest if if it does not if body does not change its position with respect to its surrounding okay to respect its surrounding means uh, if the body can't change uh its position with the respect of surrounding then we can mm, say easily that that is the rest okay just example three building store for city say and a computer similarly motion also can be defined uh, in the place of air it does not so we can say if if body change a body if a body is said to be at motion if body change its it means it refers body okay uh, it change its position with respect to its surrounding just like a flowing water a running bus walking okay and uh, running and uh, um running train moving fan they all are the in motion they are all are the in exam uh, example of motion so there are why question might be asked why rest and motions are uh, related terms might be it as so once i read the book once i read the book and you can understand it very well why are uh, rest and motion are relative terms might be question that so let us consider passenger in a moving bus moving bus is there and passenger are sitting inside the bus the passenger inside a moving bus seems to be at rest really a bus will be in motion but people are in the Bus, they are uh, uh, sitting in the same place. So the passenger inside a bus, a moving bus, seems to be at a rest with respect to one another. In comparison, a bus, when we compare to the bus and the passenger, a bus is in motion, but uh, that people passengers they are in the rest. It is because they do not change their position with respect to one another. I, I already told you. however if we compare the passengers with the stationary object on the sides of the road they are in the motion but when the passenger compare themselves with the when they see out of the bus just like a tree pole uh, or the things what are they are in the rest when they compare with them then they feel they, they are in the motion such thus uh, rest and motion are relative terms dear student you understood Uh, it means that we have to take the example of a bus and moving bus and sitting the passenger inside them. Uh, in compare, uh, when we compare the bus and bus and passenger, bus in the motion, but passenger in the rest. But when we compare the passenger, uh, the, the moving bus passenger uh, to the out of the out of the bus, like a tree to the trees, uh, poles or the uh, gardens. Okay. When you compare the passenger and that out out outer side object, then the passenger seems to be a uh, in motion. So they are in the they are uh, that rest and motion are the what relative terms we can say like that. Okay. So most next topic first. Uh, when you go in class seven, you will read a a little bit tough uh, word 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 meaning, or you can describe a tough 
but here simply we can say the pools are pool in an object okay the pools are pool in an object it's called uh, sorry here is a motion it is a force okay force the pools are pool in an object it's called force it is si unit is neutral its uh, its si unit is neutral its si unit is neutral uh, and force is equal to mass into acceleration force is equal to mass into acceleration which you can say uh, f is equal to m into a what uh, effect of force next on effect of to, uh, effect of force how where it effects it can effects on say okay uh, force can effect on say shape of the object effect uh, on motion it can effect on the motion uh, it also effect on uh, direction of motion you can see the example uh, uh, you can take the example of playing cricket when ball comes toward the uh, batsman and batsman hits the ball and uh, that according to the batsman uh, direction can change of the ball okay so effect on the volume of body volume of the body okay um, there are lot of effects uh, by which for uh, by which of uh, force can effect the body but in class 6 we will read only four effects okay so dear student um we'll move uh, uh ahead and we'll read uh, um some uh, different terms so dear student uh, we are in uh, types of motion there are different types of motion uh, in this class we will uh, study only three type of motion uh, then in seventh class we will discuss next remaining uh, remaining type of motion so first is uh, translates to motion or uh, you can say linear motion okay the motion of body along a straight line in the same interval of time it's called translatory motion or you can say the uh, linear motion isn't it uh, the motion of a body along a straight line in the same interval of time just example if a bus moves in a straight road that uh, body always moves in a straight road or straight line in a same interval of time is called translatory motion okay and similarly uh, sir um, uh, sir bilinear motion or curvilinear motion how we can say curvilinear motion curvilinear motion means a motion of a body when it's curve you know for just like a for this type of for is curvilinear the motion of a body in which the direction of motion uh, of the body changes continuously changes continuously the direction always changes just like a cycle if cycle start here riders of cycle start here it always change the direction like this okay so that is called uh, curvilinear motion okay riding bicycle in a circular path in a circular path that is called a uh, curvilinear motion so third number is circular motion circular motion means suppose uh, are you seen the uh, what is called that uh, thing uh, suppose this is the center this is the center and here is a like this okay here here and when we rotate that when we rotate the and that and that uh, they always uh, move okay so, means circularly circular motion the motion of a body in circular path of our curved path is called circular motion the distance of the moving object from the center is always same the from the center means from the center always same so uh, in this class we we discuss a uh, three type of motion remaining uh, remaining uh, types we will discuss in seventh class uh, so thank you dear student for today thank you